All right. So now we want to connect to the wireless router. And as you can see, our adapter is inactive right now. Now this could take a couple of seconds, right? Because from all looks of it, we're not associated with the access point. But what you have to do at this point is give it a little time to associate. So if we pull this down here, see we still haven't seen any connection. Okay, another thing that you could do if you're tired of waiting is you could also, but it does take some time, you could go to config and go to let's say your wireless interface and maybe toggle the port on and off to get it to wake up, to get it to basically beacon and send a message out to that wireless access point so that you can associate. But once you're associated, you will see the lines going across and then you've associated. So you can see here that now we've associated. I can hover over this and um, well, let's see if we can connect again. So we'll go to desktop, web browser, 192.168.2.1 and hit enter and you can see that the username is still admin and the password is still admin and that's what we're going to change next. So we're, we're in here and we've reassociated to the access point of the wireless router and now it's time to add some security. So for security and for administration purposes we wanted to change the password to Dan's 2456Z1. So we'll go to administration, router password, we'll say Dan's 2456Z1 and Dan's 2456Z1 and then we'll scroll down and we'll hit save settings and we'll see if we get booted out again. Settings are successful, continue and sure enough we have to put in our password. So admin Dan's 2456Z1 click OK and we're back in and now it's time for the security. So for security we'll click on security or I'm sorry we'll click on wireless and then wireless security. Once again we're configuring it from the client just like we would in real life not by clicking on the router. In Packet Tracer you could click on the router and then go straight to this GUI right but it's kinda like cheating because in reality you'd be doing it from the client and you'd be having to deal with getting disconnected to the wireless router as you can as you configure it. So security mode once again I'm in wireless wireless security security mode and you can see there's the WEP um, WEP takes a WEP key either a um, 10 hex digits or 26 hex digits right 64 bit encryption or 128 bit encryption or you could have it generate a key automatically for you but we're gonna do WPA2 personal WPA2 enterprise is if you've got a radius server that handles all of the authentication um, all of the username and passwords essentially on a separate server which we don't have so instead of we're not going to use WPA2 enterprise then we're going to use WPA2 personal and we'll set our passphrase and what did we set it we were set it, we're going to set it to um, oh that was the key we set it to well we could set it to the same thing so the passphrase or we'll set the passphrase so we messed that up we made the admin password that right and so we'll make the key Dan's Cisco Dan Cisco okay that sounds good so we'll say Dan's Cisco we'll leave the AES encryption you have a choice AES or TKIP and we'll just leave it at AES Dan Cisco and we'll scroll down and we'll hit save. Now once we save this we're going to get disconnected once again. All right? We hit save settings you can see we're disconnected once again. Now why is this? Well we just told our wireless router that there's going to be security and that if somebody wants to connect to this wireless router they need a WPA2 uh, passkey essentially.
So now we have to go back to our, let's see here, we have to go back, we'll close our browser, we'll go back to our, once again I'm in the PC, right? Notice we're no longer connected. We need to add the security to our client configuration. So we go back to our wireless configuration, not associated, go back to our profiles, highlight the dance courses profile, and edit it. When we edit it, what we're going to do is we'll say advanced setup. We're still in infrastructure mode. The SSID is still dance courses, but this time what we're going to do is we'll hit next again, add security. So we'll change it to WPA2 personal, right? Hit next and the pre-shared key which is Dan's Cisco and hit next and hit save and congratulations we've finished it so we want to connect right and so to connect we'll go to our profile and select Dan's courses and hit connect and once again we'll probably have to wait for the connection to be established it might take a little time so I got tired of not being able to get this to work so what I did was is I went into the wireless router and went to wireless and enabled the broadcast and now I can go back to my client and if you go to connect you can see there it shows up in connect so now I'm still gonna need to do some settings here so we'll say connect and then it says security WPA2, what's the pre-shared key? I'll say Dan's Cisco and hit connect and it says adapter is active and sure enough now we've connected. So that's a quick tutorial on how to use Packet Tracer and set up a wireless networking um, and emulate that in Packet Tracer.